What's good with the family man? It's your neighborhood bro, Desmo, and I'm checking in with you guys once again. Hoping y'all feeling wonderful out there because y'all know me. I'm blessed by the best, man. I'm feeling amazing, man. I cannot lie. Because y'all know each and every day we get a chance to wake up in the morning, bro. It's a blessing, man. So you just got to take heed and be thankful just for the very life that you have in your body today, bro. It's, it's a mere sign of a blessing. So you just want to make sure you, you know, take note of that for sure. First things first, I want to give you all some recognition. You guys showed me major love on my last video. I just really want just say I appreciate each and every last one of y'all, each and every like, each and every comment. All the love just keeps me motivated and keeps me driven to continuously make these videos for you guys, man. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, it's for you. It's for your liking, bro. It's for your eyes, bro, to see. So I just want to continuously put out content that you guys are happy with, that you guys like and enjoy. As much as I do recording the content. Slowly but surely, we getting there. Anywho, today's video is going to be a little bit different. As you can see, the setting is completely different. I hadn't sat in this seat in so long. Bro. As you can see the back wall Something that you all may have not seen Y'all may be a little bit confused But bear with me for a minute guys bro. I promise it'll all make sense in the end So y'all just stay tuned Today I will be sharing the story of Why I decided to quit Sneaker YouTube Why did I just say it like that? Sneaker YouTube <laughs> <laughs> Today, I'm going to be dropping a story on why I decided to fall away or quit sneaker YouTube. But before I begin, I would appreciate if all of you guys that are tuned in right now, if you guys could like the video, man. And if you are new to the channel, could you please subscribe? I make content like this all the time. So, And I'm getting a whole lot more accustomed to dropping videos again. So y'all make sure y'all stay tuned to this great content. I would not want you to miss out on anything. So y'all subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell to get notified for whatever ever your boy drop videos because i'm dropping i'm dropping like it boy i'm dropping boy Woo -wee. so i don't want y'all to miss out on anything y'all ready i bet it hit it <laughs> to begin the story to why i stopped something i feel like it's only necessary for me to at least explain the story to why and when and how I started in the first place. So that's what we're gonna do. May of 2017, I first started my sneaker YouTube channel. It took me a minute, but after days and days of searching and trying to think of different names, I finally came up with it. I decided on the name Sneakerhead. Pretty much like a funky spinoff of the name Sneakerhead with the ER, but all I was doing is just replacing the ER with the A, and there was the birth of sneakerhead this <laughs> so boom fast forward now it's pretty much mid may i get my first ever pair of jordans to review there was some motorsport fours i never forget it. all my og supporters know what's going on my birthday was approaching soon and i had the goal in mind to drop the video before my birthday came out it was pretty much gonna be like a birthday gift to myself dropping my first video on my birthday so i looked at it like a gift to myself you know what i mean but i knew the deadline was approaching so i had to spring into action real quick so boom i got cam helping me film he coaching me he walking me through the process of everything bro and eventually we finally get it done right and boy when i tell you getting it done was it was tough bro it was a roller coaster bro I ain't gonna lie it was probably one of the hardest things i ever had to do up until that point for sure mind you this is my first ever video recording myself talking to a camera so it was real bro it was tough it was tough bro i ain't gonna lie it was tough on me i messed up so much in this video bro i was constantly having to restart restart the camera i messed up in this video so much bro i probably started the video over probably like 40 to 50 times just to get it right like i said cam helping me film so it slick made me feel like i had a lot of pressure on me because i'm knowing he's the one that's pretty much hitting the record on the videos and i'm constantly having to tell cam hey stop that delete that let's revisit that one more time you know what i'm saying so i felt like i was heavily pressured for sure even though it really wasn't even no pressure like with me i value people's time so much so me constantly having to tell cam to start over start over start over i'm like man i know this guy I getting tired of me telling him to start the video over because he's the one recording for me he's taking out his time to help me record and do all this other stuff so it's like man i don't want to have to take too much of this guy's time or even though i know this is my brother it's like i would do that with anybody bro i would hate to feel as if i'm taking too much up of somebody's time you know what i'm saying time is bro 
it's the most valuable thing we have, bro, and I understand that. So at the time, that's pretty much all I'm thinking. In the end, Cam understood everything, so he wasn't tripping at all. Anyway, we eventually get the video done. Honestly, it probably took us around three to four hours to completely finish everything. That's filming, doing the B-rolls, me starting over 40 to 50 times, you know what I'm saying? That's all that pretty much combined. It probably took like three to four hours for sure to finish it up entirely. In the end, the video came out a success. It was on point, the quality was on point. At that particular time, it was hard. I really wish I had footage to actually show y'all exactly what I'm talking about. But if y'all been rocking with me for a couple years, bro, you will know that my channel was actually hacked. It was hacked by some predators, some YouTube account thieves. They was looking to steal, monetize YouTube channels, bro. I promise you, bro, it's YouTube pirates out there. They got me, y'all. They got me. They got me. We ain't gonna get into that in this video. If y'all wanna know the full story to actually what happened, I'm gonna leave the link to the video down in the link in the description below. So if you guys wanna check it out, man, it's down there, bro. Fast forward from that, I made a new channel. Everything was all good. All right, so now it's time for me to actually explain exactly why I quit sneaker YouTube. As the years went on of me doing sneaker YouTube and fashion content, I realized I simply was just not happy, bro. The thing that I once enjoyed, it's like it became a dread in a way. You know what I'm saying? Like that excitement that I got on Saturdays when new releases would drop, it just seemed to have just dwindled away. Saturdays literally had just become simply the weekend. It really made me start to question like, damn, like, is this for me? Is waking up at 6 a.m every Saturday morning to do mall runs with the hope to actually get a pair of sneakers that you actually like. Because a lot of times I walk out that junk empty handed. It just started to make me reevaluate my life. And it just made me come to the final conclusion that it's just not worth it. Not for me, at least. It's like I matured so fast in that space, and it started to make me ask the question like, damn, is making a sacrifice for a material item every weekend some I'm probably gonna hardly ever wear? Just to get content out there for my viewers and my supporters to actually rock with me, it's like, is it really worth it? When I got my first pair of J's, bro, I promise I was head over heels with excitement. Honestly, y'all, bro, I probably went out that day and celebrated because at that time, I looked at it as if it was an accomplishment. But it's like after you done cop so many pairs of shoes, that same excitement that you may have once had, it starts to fade eventually, though. It just starts to not feel the same no more. I personally feel like the sneaker YouTube content market, the sneaker YouTube market was so oversaturated with people doing sneakers or YouTube content. So it's like you slick had to fight to get your video out there so your video can be heavily suggested by the algorithm. Especially if your YouTube channel was not popping yet. Week in and week out, constantly fighting to post videos and get the content out there before anybody else, bro. I ain't gonna lie, it took a toll on me, heavy. It honestly did something to me, cause I'm like, and I'll say this in the most humblest, the most respectful way. Not to discredit or undervalue anybody who was making sneaker content. Nobody was not with me when it came to that YouTube sh like I'ma just call a spade a spade and that's straight facts because it's one thing to have good quality on your videos which is pretty common these days because these iPhones bro these iPhones pretty much shooting just as good as DSLR cameras bro not exactly but they for sure get the job done most definitely so it's not necessarily all about the quality but to have true personality and charisma and if you got that swag it's a plus it's something completely different and it's not me to my own horn guys but bro I was that guy straight like that. What separated me so much from everybody else, it wasn't just the personality and the charisma that just naturally came along with who I am as a person, but I feel like it was more so the authenticity and the transparency that came along with me as well. I was never that guy to come on camera to try and be and do too much. Never came on and fake for the camera. Never tried to do no clickbaity type stuff to get views. And really, that's why so many people actually rock with my content because they love the person of who I was. They loved who I was, you know what I'm saying? The same dude that's on this camera talking to you right now is the same person that I am in real life, bro. And that's 100% facts. And everybody, anybody I know, anybody who has met me personally, bro, can pretty much vouch for what I'm saying to you right now. Long story short, family, I was simply just in an arena that I fell out of love with. It was completely 100% unnecessary for me to continuously compete in an arena that I knew, I knew for sure I dominated in. So when you put both of those things into perspective, I just felt like it was the right move 
move for me to just to step back to put more focus on an area that I truly loved and in the area which I will always love which is self-improvement great thing about it is self-improvement has no ceiling there's no cap to how successful you can become with self-improvement bro self-improvement is a never-ending journey bro you'll never get to where you want to get to and I love the idea that I can continuously go out and be great and build myself up to the best of my ability and not be the end you know what I'm saying I'm on a continuous journey each and every day to better myself you know what I'm saying and self-improvement is very multifaceted I have the peace of mind to know that I don't have to wake up each and every Saturday morning and try to keep up with the Joneses I'm on a never-ending journey to self-improvement that I enjoy each and every day bro I love it here y'all so it was really never about anybody else it was always about me I hope that y'all enjoyed the story and hopefully you'll be able to learn something from this this video is long overdue and I'm really just glad and I'm appreciative that I'm able to even come out and express myself the way that I have today and I hope that you guys like it if you do like the video man feel free to scroll down right now and hit the freaking like button hit the subscribe button if you're new to this channel because I have a whole lot more content like this one so you guys want to stay tuned I do not want you guys to miss out really glad that I finally got that off my chest and if I ruffle any feathers in this video Video today it's gonna be okay you gonna be all right what's one of coach prime sayings don't allow my confidence to offend your insecurity and we gonna end it like that i love y'all man i'll see y'all in the next video man peace